as you can tell, there's some significant lift off on the bottoms. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. And Maker Geeks, like gloss white PTG. Um, I did have the bed pretty hot. Like, I think I started at 65, even bumped it up to 90, and either way, I got warping, so... You know, it is what it is. Easy to remove, anyway. So, we'll see if they fit together. Oh! They're not doing too bad fitting together. So those index holes worked out quite well. So the next step is to heat up some uh, heat up some plastisol and try it out. So because the PTG warped quite a bit, I'm going to use this vise to hold the mold together as strong as possible. Just the bench vise. And because it warped, of course the tolerance, the tolerance on my injector, not so good. So, I think I'm just going to have to, you know, hold it here, and then push it in. So, I'll go spray that, uh, I'm just going to use UMR Paintable Mold Release Silicone product. I'll paint that on both sides of this. And yeah. Probably gonna That's not going to work. It's just way too hot. It was going out the side of it. I mean... So obviously this didn't quite work like I was hoping it would work. Obviously PETG is a little bit higher heat resistance than PLA um, and not as much as ABS of course, but I was hoping to get a little bit better out of this. Um, 
you know, it is what it is though. There's two fishable minnow patterns out of this. Um, if I'm going to fish them, that's a totally different story, but it's a good, uh, proof of concept essentially. So what I think I might do is an inverse mold on this, maybe do something in alumilite or some other type of resin. So it's a building block and, uh, Hopefully somebody enjoyed this. Maybe you're going to try something similar. Uh, my suggestion is use something higher thermal resistance than PETG. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.